so the alignment tools in zebrush kind of suck they're not really there as such um there every other 3d app out there has some really obvious and clear and simple alignment tools and zebrush doesn't really have that um, there and there are some some things you can do with the transpose tool but it's effectively uh, not really there so um luckily enough there was a guy called there is a guy rather called paul alex um, from october-arts.com who has written a small plugin um, about three and a half years ago which still works with 2019 um, i'm going to put the description i'm going to put the a link to um, the thread where he posted this on zebra central in the description so you can download it download it yourself it's just a small text file um, which you can put into your pixel logic your program files pixel logic zebra 2019.1 startup zplug 64 and um, this text file here once you put that text file in there go to your zscript folder hit load go back to that same folder again and select that text file and hit open once you do this it will actually generate this zsc file uh, i already have one here because i've already done this you only ever have to do this once and then that's it you're done um, so once you've done that restart zbrush and if you go down to the bottom of your tools palette you'll now have a new uh, menu option called positioner and in there there is an alignment roll up um, with several buttons in it and this is really really simple to use so for example um if i want to select a whole lot of cubes here and i'm going to cut this option cut this kind of coin or shield thing into about 10 different pieces in order to be able to see and see them or to uh, 3d print it so um, i've created 10 cubes here uh, which i'll use as my intersection uh, for these objects and I, now I, I need to align them all to each other so I get a nice clean uh, lineup. So I can select my first cube here, uh, cube 2, um, which I have here, and I'm going to align a few things to this. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to align uh, to the center cube. I'm just going to pick a center, that, roughly a center of the object, um, and I'm going to go back down to my alignment tool here and select that as the target. Uh, we don't have to be in move mode for this we can just select another uh, tool while we're in draw mode and with this as the target i want to align this to the outside or right hand side of this so that's on the x-axis which is this way y being up and down and z being backwards and forwards or depth rather so on this one i want to align to the outside right so i'm just going to hit x outside right uh, and i also want to align it to on the y-axis i want to align the top the inside top of both of these so that's that now aligned to where I want it to be. As this was still the target that I hit selected on, I can I can do the same with the rest of these. I want all of these. I want this one to be on the outside right of this, and I want I'm just all tapping on these to select different tools. Uh, I want this to be on the outside right, um, and I want this one to be on the Y outside bottom, on the outside of the bottom of this. I want this one to be on the Y outside of the top. So that's that aligned. Uh, and I want this one to be also Y outside the top and this one Y outside the top and this one on the Y outside the bottom and this one on the Y outside the bottom of this. So this is still the target. I haven't changed anything. So I also want this to be aligned on the X axis on the inside left or inside right. They're the same size, so it would work. I can choose the same for this, align it to the inside left. And on this one, I want to align I want on the x-axis, I want it on the outside of the left. So I'm going to hit X, O, L. Same for this one. X outside left, outside left. Um, and this one I'm going to align on the y-axis to the inside top. And boom, we have all of our objects aligned. Um, if we want to see how they align with our object underneath, we can select our, our shield and go into transparent mode and we can see what our shield looked like underneath. If we want to reposition all of our boxes, we can just mask our shield while we have it selected, go into move mode, um, change to transpose all selected subtools, and we'll grab everything else and we can kind of find uh, where we'd like to place this. So with that selected, I'm going to unmask my shield. I'm going to go out of transparency mode because when you have transparency mode on, live boolean won't display on your screen. So I'm going to turn that off. Uh, I'm going to turn off all of these sub tools and I'll just turn on the first one here. So with that selected, um, I'm going to change to intersection mode. Uh, intersection mode will uh, 
once I have this displaying as well, intersection mode will show me what that intersection of that cube looks like on this box. If I try and show two of them at the same time, they're going to interfere with each other. Um, so you kind of need to only have one on at a time, one visible at a time. Um, we can turn this on for all of our sub tools here. Uh, that's all of them, but we will have to turn them on one at a time in order to see what, what segment that we're going to get out of that. Once we, we're happy with this and we want to um, print our, 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 we want to cut our segment, um, I'll choose this one. All we have to do is go down to make boolean mesh and that will create a new piece of geometry in here. So I'll hit make boolean mesh. It's going to take a few seconds. And we have our new mesh here. So this is a single piece um, which is cut up and ready to go. Um, and so this we could then 3D print. Um, and we'll know that it will align perfectly to our next pieces. So just to prove that, I'm going to take uh, the next corner piece, which is over here. Uh, I'm going to hit make boolean mesh as well, and that will generate a new tool up here as well. And so if I select my first tool and I append my new piece over here, I'm going to turn off uh, turn off uh, polypaint so we can see this clearly and you can see that these are now aligned perfectly and will print perfectly um, to each other. So if you want to create keys to, to actually get them to match up, um, you can do that as well. But um, yeah, that's how we create uh, multiple pieces in and how we align uh, tools to each other. And then if we want to cut up a piece into multiple objects for a 3D print, we can do that as well, or CNC. Hope these tips help. And as usual, please do consider subscribing if you find them useful. Thanks, bye.